Hello everyone. Welcome back to Leo's Let's Plays YouTube channel. My name is Leo and this is the Stardew Valley playthrough of 1.5 update on an Android smartphone. It is day 4 of spring. This is the fourth episode you are watching currently. Let's read the weather. Welcome to Kozu 5 your number one source for weather, news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. Partially cloud with a light breeze. Expect lots of pollen. Do you have allergy with pollen? I don't. And the Velvix Oracle reads, Who? I see a glimmer within my crying off. A shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today, luck will not be on your side. And the living of the land, welcome to living of the land, we are back again with another tip for you all. Now listen up. This one's for you folks living in Stardy Valley. Check for Spring Onion, southwest of town, where the river meets the ocean. You can sometimes find a whole bunch growing right out of the dirt. We are checking for it every day. There's nothing more on the television program. And as you can see, we had leveled the plus three fishing in the previous episode. Start our day by watering the crops. Let's go outside. We have a mail. Hi, me sell hats. Okay, folk. Come to old house. Old, old, old house. Folk. Bring coinies. Hat mouse. Someone hat mouse has sent us a mail. Oh, this is another mail. Dear Farmer Leo, I would like to apologize for joking about your grandfather's old cottage. When we first met, it's really a nice little house. Oh, this must be Robin. However, you might need some more space someday. That's why I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. Continued on next page. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you have learned. Anyway, I hope you are starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. Your local carpenter, obviously, Robin, also known as the businesswoman. So, four days have passed since we have started to cultivate these parsnip seeds and they are mature today. It is the fourth day. It takes only four days to mature. But we can harvest them on the fifth day. Let me see if we have any additional seeds to sow. No mixed seeds. Let's take the scythe for the time being and the hoe. We'll refill the watering can, of course. Let's get it refilled. So, how's everyone doing? Are you fine? Are you enjoying this series with me? I don't talk a lot, but I'll try to explain everything in this game as much as possible from my side. Are you interested in this kind of content? Please let me know in the comments below. Do we have any forageables today? Yes, it is the forest farm, it is the speciality. And there was also a oak tree, an oak seed, which is an acorn. You always have to select your site in your inventory when you are walking, when you are tapping to move on the screen. And this prevents you from accidentally misclicking and using the tool that you don't intended to use. So it doesn't consume your energy. 
Also, sometimes you can misclick on a. Oh, we have a mural. What I was talking was you can misclick on an seed that you have sown in the farmland and the seed gets destroyed the crop gets destroyed oh i see another seed here lying on the ground it might be a pine cone yes it was a pine cone i find it very convenient to zoom in and zoom out quickly when playing on a mobile and this is a mushroom which is also a forageable category sought after for its unique nutty flavor it has a nutty flavor i like nutty flavor we have two extra acorns so we can craft two more field snacks Here's how to craft them. Two of each seeds of the respective plants. For the big plants that you, what do we call them, the trees. You need two acorns, two maple seeds and two pine cones. To craft two field snacks. And we have an additional one. I think we'll be exploring the mines today. So let's get there. We'll need this for our energy refilling. We don't have a lot of inventory space. We'll get the sword from Marlon when we visit the mines. Or I don't think the mine operation has halted. I was wrong about it. So why don't we, because we didn't receive the Georgia customer satisfaction email or the mail in the letter, which means that this is going to be again a fishing day today. Let's fish by the mountain. Slight change of plan. But it's going to be helpful. And this is the hospital or clinic open from 9 am to 3 pm only. Sometimes the doctor doesn't stay in the clinic. We are here for a few pieces of these bean starters. They take 10 days to mature, but keep producing after that. And they grow on a trellis. Also, we need cauliflower seeds. Let's buy six of those. Buying a lot of potatoes also. Let's buy ten of them for the parsnip seeds. I think we don't have that much energy here, but we'll need to buy them. For the starter, let's buy the potato seeds. Later, we'll buy this tulip. They take 6 days to grow. No problem, we'll manage it later in the game. Also the jazz and the kale, the tulip, let's see. What else do we buy? We need gold quality parsnips, so let's buy 2 more parsnips here. Now I'll spend my money on the potato seeds and buy one additional parsnip but we'll keep the change in our pocket. Let's get these seeds planted first and water and then we'll be fishing in the mountain lake. I know there's a lot of porridgeables. We'll be missing out on the beach forage bulls, but we can grab them later. So why not do this first? Also the forage bulls, they get reset 
on Sunday, I suppose. How many seeds we have? 6 and 13 days. 19, 20, 21, 23, 24, 25. We'll not be planting a lot of potato seeds. So 6, 7, 8 and 11 plus. Let's make 11 plus 4 here. It is 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. This looks so perfect. We'll be planting these trellis crops. We cannot walk through them, so we'll be planting them like this. Now we can freely walk or else they would have blocked our path. Plant 5 potatoes. What else have we left? The parsnips. Plant them here. An additional potato over here. That's it. Keep these for the future. They only take 6 days to mature. We have plenty of time here. Now let's see what else we can keep in the inventory of the chest can also auto stack the items like for example now i have the clay in my inventory this is the button above on the chest it will automatically stack the existing items in your inventory to the chest minecraft needs this feature mowing studios or microsoft they need to implement it it's always been asked in the community. Developers don't listen. Let's get it refilled here. Or maybe it is not possible for coding such things. We have no knowledge about it. Also, let's keep the hoe. Oh, I'll regret it maybe. If we find an artifact spot in the mountain area, we'll be going through this route on the north side to see if we can find anything additional. I don't see anything, but it is always going to be worth to keep an eye on anything. We can also gift anything if we find which we don't want to keep in our inventory. That's always an option here. It is a little bit late to come to this place. And I find this spot to be very suitable for fishing. So far nothing. The tricks that these fishes play on you is absurd. We got a chub. I was expecting this fish, a large mouth bass. It sells for a pretty good price. We'll know about it at the end of the day. So stay tuned. I'll be showing you all the prices of these fishes when we sell them. The drift that it takes and here's a new record because it was a new quality of fish 
the fishes also have different kinds of length in inches we are getting a lot of bonus gold quality large mouth passes these are also used in the recipe for the large mouth pass recipe i don't remember it let me try to remember It is crispy bass, I think. And it was perfect. And we got a new fish. It is a carp. Also the quality is golden. How did I misclick on that? Carps are so easy to catch, and here's another new fish, and it is a iridium quality. I cannot believe we have caught it perfectly. Therefore, it will sell for a significant amount of price. A relative of the catfish that eats a variety of foods of the lake bottom, and the carp, common pond fish. Therefore, very low price for that. By the different qualities of fishes that we are catching over here, I have a feeling the inventory is going to get filled up pretty quickly. It is 2000 gold for increasing the first backpack upgrade here, and it is the sole reason that we are farming. For the crops and the fishes, let it be imperfect. And it was trying to trick me there, but I got the treasure, which is again very joking. We got bait, and but this is precious coal. What are your opinions on the coal? In my view, I find coal the only thing in this game. To be the precious thing, to be rarer. I don't buy it from Clint's shop. I find it very expensive even in the first year. There was a green algae, I think, not a seaweed. Yeah, it was a green algae. Because this is a lake, not an ocean. And here's another perfect. But we didn't get the iridium one for the bullhead. I want fishes. Please give me fishes game. Don't try to angry me. And it does the same thing. And here Sebastian. Which I find very disgusting that he stands here in the evening and smokes. How his parents alive are currently. Let me focus on the fish first before completing my dialogue. How on the world. Sebastian's parents are allowing him to smoke. Maybe they don't know about it. That might also be a case here. And here's decisions time here. So what do we throw? 
the weight is valuable so we'll be throwing out these green algae i should have eaten them earlier that's my bad let's see now we don't have an inventory space so let's head back to home also let's say hi to sebastian don't give him a spring onion <laughs> I snuck into the caves last night and got a nasty cut from a rock crab. Don't tell anyone, okay? Do you please stop smoking? Quit smoking. A message that quit smoking. Mm, do you want something from me? Why would I want anything from you, Linus? I was just trying to talk to you. To say hi. He's a little bit scared. After a few days. After maybe a year. He talks to us very nicely. People throw stones at his tent, so he's scared of people, and we didn't have bait, so now we have it, and I'll be preserving one carp at least, and where's the chub, we'll sell this, we we'll keep the coal, maybe we can take the trip back or not, maybe let's see if we can do anything after doing this stacking of these items here and our inventory is already getting cluttered for the chest so let's uh, do we have a backup bullhead yeah large mouth bass yeah i'm going to be keeping these and sell this because we'll need one for the jody's quest later in the game and that's it i think Let's chop a tree. Need to craft an another chest. I was dreaming about gathering 300 pieces of wood. I thought it would be a breeze, there would be no problem. But no. The initial energy, the amount of energy you get in this game is not very high inventory is full so let's keep the rod aside now we can craft a chest keep it here for the fishies the fishes we'll keep the backups here oh i also had a pine cone in my inventory all this time I think I have got it just now from the pine tree that I had chopped. And let's see what we can sell. Let's sell one piece of wood as well. As well as one piece of sap. Maybe it is counted in the collections or the items shipped. Let's sell these. Chub, carp, the bull head. This is an irritant quality. Good price for it these jumps as well as this i want to sell the large mouth bus but i also want to keep it i'm a little bit confused let's sell it relocating the fishes in a separate chest Let's see what else do we have to. Also, let's relocate these items. For the time being, we have many other fishes. No, don't eat it. 
problems on the touch screen as well as the PC players I saw they face this problem here. I had to empty my entire inventory for this. I'll not be chopping what am I doing here. I'll be foraging for some supplies so Do I see any more fishes here? Or anything like clam or oyster or anything not? So here goes it. Also be grabbing the spring onion so that I don't accidentally over exhaust myself. Let's look for the forageables. Maybe let's visit the... Can we visit the beach now? Let's try it. First we'll go to this area here. See if we can grab at least the spring onions. We didn't take them in the morning. If there is no luck on the spring onions, the time would be wasted here, but it was not the case. We have a lot of spring onions. So nice. This would also increase your foraging skills. Anything that you pick up from the ground that is already there and will not be able to go to the beach today. No problem. It's getting late, I know. Find a few more forageables if possible. We have some time on our hands. Always use your time wisely in this game. Never have to regret anything later. Also try to play it the way the developer had intended. Try to play it in a relaxed way. Also, we have to meet many people. We'll get that done at the egg festival. There will be a lot of people there. Do I see any forgeable over here? No. These weird pieces of weird colors of blobs on the screen. They are just the decorations. See how much supplies we have gathered. How much energy for the mines for the upcoming episodes. Grab the watering can because tomorrow it is not going to be raining. And have I forgotten anything? Let's take a brief look what we can craft. If we would like to craft anything, we can craft the wild seeds for the spring and increase our forgeables. But the initial amount of energy, you'll need the amount of energy for the mines from the spring onions. In the spring. That's it. It is getting very late. So let's tuck back into our bed. Go to sleep for the night, yes. And before going, and before ending this episode, all of the viewers who are watching, if you have made to this far into this video, you are very awesome. You are out of this world. I always appreciate you watching my videos. Thank you for that. And let's see if you have developed any foraging skills or anything. Yes. Leveled up the foraging skill. Level 2 foraging 
plus one x proficiency. So now the axe will take less energy than before for the axe activities like chopping and a new cooking recipe as well for the survival burger. So goodbye for now my friends and I hope to see you later. Thank you for watching and this app gives you two gold that's very nice. It is worth something but not the mixed seeds they don't give you any and you can see for the other fishes we have got this much and for the wood one piece of wood also sells for two gold. We have additional 523 gold. Goodbye let's see you later.